Shipping some supplies for a special mission force. What's inside the new Hasbro G.I. Joe press mailer box? A big, big thank you once again to the folks over at Hasbro that took the time and sent over this rather large G.I. Joe mailer box that we could unbox in this video. Before, of course, we open up the box, you can have a look at the box itself. Some really nice artwork here on the side featuring Roadblock, Snake Eyes, and Scarlet. I'm going to spin this around so you can see it from all the sides. It's a very large box, and I have to say also equally quite heavy, too. There's the back of the box. There's nothing really exciting on the back of the box. This was actually shipped also inside of a larger cardboard box, which would explain then why it looks as good of a condition as, as it actually is. We're going to go ahead and open up the box. I have really no idea what's inside. I decided to wait, as I usually do. I don't want to really open it up before I start hitting a record because I like to have that surprise just as much as you guys. Let's go ahead, though, and open this up and see what we got inside from the folks again over at Hasbro. Just opening up the box. Well, it is certainly packed to the rim. I'm going to see if I can do my best to get everything still in camera here. Uh, of course, we've got the necessaries here, uh, the re FTC guidelines, just basically indicating, once again, that Hasbro took the time and sent over this free product that we're going to be unboxing in this video. And then of the things that they did send over my way, let's first have a look at here. We got a G.I. Joe Cubals. Is that what they're called? Cubals? C-U? That's a long U, I can tell. That's Cubals. That's Snake Eyes. It's over five inches tall, movable parts, 3D accessories, and over 30 pieces. It looks to be something that you're going to be putting together. I think that would be a fun little project to have. Think of Cubals as a fun-filled 3D mashup of a puzzle and origami. Creating a Cubals takes focus and ingen ingenuity. The pre-cut and pre-scored pieces make folding and assembly a delightful hands-on challenge. It's educational, fun, and rewarding. Watch as your cubes come to life. Cubals, Cubals come to life. Right there with the L. That's pretty cool. I'm going to put that to the side. It looks as if we also got ourselves a, a comic book. This one's called G.I. Joe Snake Eyes Dead Game. It kind of looks... I was going to say, that looks like Rob Liefeld's work. Sometimes you can see an artist and right away know who's drawn the comic. And that definitely looks like Rob Liefeld's styling here. Checking out the contents. Checking out the pages inside. Yeah, that's nice looking artwork. Who's this masked man with the red mask there? I'm sure I'll know soon enough if I read through this. Yeah, artwork's pretty good. Life feels all about hiding those lower legs. You can see, like, there's very few times, few instances where I actually can see feet so far in this comic. Well, there's a couple of them. There's a couple of them in there. Just quickly flipping through it so you guys can get a good feel for what the comic's going to be. Yeah, it's going to be a good, co good comic to read through. Uh, we also got ourselves a G.I. Joe read-up here. The G.I. Joe team was on a mission this year to grow the G.I. Joe universe with a new live-action film, Snake Eyes, G.I. Joe Origins. Exciting product reveals and enhanced storytelling. The franchise is excited to head into 2022 as it celebrates the 40th anniversary of the iconic series G.I. Joe, a real American hero. We are thankful to have that you have been on the journey with us this year and have included the following fan-favorite character figures and recent reveals from PulseCon on the G.I. Joe Classified series lineup to get you ready for battle in 2022. Again, just indicating once again, this was all free products sent over from the folks over at Hasbro. Let's see what other things we've got inside the box. For action figures, we've got the new G.I. Joe Classified series Snake Eyes and Timber Alpha Commandos. This was a set I did see at my local Toys R Us. Never pulled the trigger to pick it up. Certainly glad that they were able to send one over this. Looks like it has Timber with two different head sculpts. Snake Eyes doesn't come in clue with two different head sculpts, but he looks like he's got his more classic, kind of original G.I. Joe look. And then some nice artwork there on the back featuring the whole cast of characters making up G.I. Joe Classified. We also have inside a very large box. I don't know why I'm grabbing the large box first. It certainly has caught my attention. We also have ourselves the G.I. Joe Classified series Elvin Breaker Kibby with the Ram Cycle. An upscaled version. I had the original three and three quarter inch Ram cycle growing up. I have to say, I'm glad that they're staying faithful to like the original Real American series, um, Real American Hero series. That's going to be a fun open to build. Uh, well, not even so much to build. You have to put kind of like the sidecar on there, and you have to put the cannon. 
That's going to be cool, though. Uh, see what else we have in here. From the uh, Reaction Series figures, we've got ourselves a standard Cobra Trooper. Now, the Reaction figures are basically like what would figures look like from the 80s, which is somewhat ironic because G.I. Joe would have existed back in the 80s as well. But the limited articulation, it only has five points of articulation, the head, shoulders, and certainly legs. Comes also included with a gun. Oh, and even there's a read-up on the back, too. Other characters would have been Snake Eyes, Quinn, the Eskimo, uh, Scarlet, G.I. Joe Trooper, now we've got Cobra Commander, Destro, Baroness, and Cobra Trooper as well. I'm going to do a review. And actually, in fact, I'm going to try my best to do reviews on all of the things that we see inside here. We also have, from the Snake Eyes G.I. Joe Origins, we have G.I. Joe Classified Series Akiko. I hope that's certainly the way that you pronounce her name. Comes included with a couple of swords. Nice looking figure. And on the back, read up. I don't remember actually seeing this one. Was This was maybe possibly recently announced from the folks over at Hasbro. Uh, we also have inside here a G.I. Joe classified series Alley Viper. Now that Alley Vi Viper does look pretty cool. I had the original Alley Viper from the, once again, three and three quarter inch side, re real American hero sized figures. That's going to be cool. And what else do we have in? Oh boy, we, d we do have it. Inside, they were nice enough to also pack the G.I. Joe Classified Series Bat. Yes, rest assured, a review of the Bat will be coming soon to this channel. I don't have the original Real American Hero Series Bat, but I certainly do have a Battle Android Trooper from the 25th anniversary line. Maybe, in fact, I'll actually bring that one in as a comparison of the two sizes and basically how they've changed the figures. It does have an alternate head sculpt, comes included with the backpack, comes included with all the things that would attach to its forearms. That is going to be a fun thing to review. Uh, what else do we have in here? We've got ourselves a, a Snake Eyes mask. It's made of a slightly softer plastic. Let's actually take it out of the plastic so it's a little easier for you guys to see it. Bear with me as I open up put this mask out here. Yeah, it's just a slightly softer plastic mask. It looks like it also comes included with a hoodie as well. I guess you can kind of wear it on the back as you put the mask over front of your face. And then there was one last thing, as I've certainly already filled up enough space already. There was... I guess this is a suit? Is this supposed to be something I'm... I'm guessing I'm supposed to wear. It's like a muscle suit. Let's just flip this around. I don't know if that's the front, that's the... It is a costume, as you can see. I don't know if you guys can actually see that. The Rashikagi logo there on the side arm. I, so I guess this is the continuation of that mask. The idea is that you wear the mask and then you wear the, like the full body suit, which looks like it may actually fit me. Maybe I'll go upstairs and surprise my daughter with it on. But yeah, certainly a lot of stuff nicely sent over from the folks over at Hasbro. Let's just put everything up here so you guys can actually see it. G.I. Joe Classified Series, Alvin Breaker, Kibby with Ram Cycle. We also got ourselves the Snake Eyes and Timber Alpha Commandos. Got ourselves also a Snake Eyes mask, which again, I'll probably put on later. I'm really excited for this. We're going to be having a look, though, at, in a future review of the Classified Series Bat. They also nice enough to send over the Alley Viper. Got ourselves a Kiko, hopefully I pronounced that correctly, a smaller reaction figure of the Cobra Trooper, and we also got ourselves a comic book, propping everything up as best I can, and finally, starting things off, we did get ourselves a Cubals. So lots of cool G.I. Joe stuff coming your way in upcoming videos. Make sure, of course, you're coming back to this channel and uh, staying tuned to those new G.I. Joe reviews. And again, a big thank you. Big, big thank you to the folks over at Hasbro that kindly once again sent over this mailer box of G.I. Joe goodies that we could have a look at here on this channel. Hey, now, if you are new to this channel, speaking of which, and you're enjoying the content that you're seeing, hopefully, if hopefully that's the case, make sure that you hit that subscribe if you haven't already done so. Turn on the bell notification and come back, please, please, if you do be so kind. Because, of course, we are going to be having a look at a whole bunch of G.I. Joe stuff coming your way in the not-so-distant future. As always, guys, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.